for Illinois State. Lawrence talked about so good yesterday. Good look at the change up there. Able to score seven yesterday, trying to get a little bit on the board as well. Well, it wasn't three pitches, but it's four pitches, 96. Cunningham trying to strike out the side. And he does. Another wicked change up. Cunningham strikes out the side in the top of the first. Swing and a miss. Three pitches, just like he started the top of the first. Rasmussen went down, pulled his hammy, pulled his head there. Five consecutive strikeouts to start the game for Cunningham. Espinal out to left. He continues to bang as it bangs off the monster. Espinal thinking two out of the box. The throw to second is not in time. A leadoff double for Alan Espinal. Davis. Not an easy play, and the play won't be made by the second baseman and Noah Smith. Davis goes, 3-2. Outside, ball four. Um, really putting an emphasis on that this, uh, this offseason. Bounced over to Chang. They will get the force at second, so it's an RBI ground out there for Polk. On that defense. Polk goes. Hewitt puts it in play. Chadwick's only play is to first because of the high chopper. So another productive out. 33rd pitch of the afternoon. Fastball called strike three, 93 inside quarter. Freezes Vastine, great pitch there by Chadwick. Gotta think these Illinois State batters are gonna try and really gear up for that fastball. Slider out to left center, first hit of the day for Illinois State. Chang running hard out of the box. The throw is cut off by Vastine, it's a two out double. Off the end of the bat, Vastine, Gold Glover at short, fires, but past R.J. Austin, and Chang is gonna come in to score. Tough play for Vastine charging. Especially for a guy like Smith, who, who does like to chase. Bounced over to Austin, who makes the play. 90% of the time until the third inning, as Vastine out to right center. This is gonna one-hop the wall. Rasmussen plays it off the wall. It's a one-out double for Jonathan Vastine. And now Austin gets plunked on the slider. That backed up on Chadwick. And you saw it on that swing. Both runners go here. Diaz out to left. It's a base hit. Vastine, of course, going on the pitch. He's going to come in to score. And yet again, there's a reason that Davis Diaz is now hitting in the top of the order for Tim Corbin's team. He delivers once again. Got to make sure you keep this ball down. Back pick attempt, Chang wasn't covering the bag. Austin's gonna get to third, and Diaz is gonna scoot into scoring position. Another 3-2. Splitter, just missed away. Big 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. High heat at 94. You tell us that you're sitting fastball, right? 1-2. Another fastball swung on and missed. How about Chadwick? Steve Holm calls him a bulldog for a reason. Where's he coming with next? Right back to the hard stuff, 95, freezes Smith, sixth strikeout of the game. Change up, did he go? He did. Cunningham fired up, coming off the mound, great block by Espinal. On base, so Chadwick able to pitch out of a couple of jams. Why has he been in that lineup recently? Polk, three, four, hole. First baseman and Nichols wasn't covering the bag at first, then got back over there. Get a little bit out of position. Hewitt gets hit. He tried to get out of the way, but got him, and man. Staying in the game, that's unbelievable. That is. In the face, but he stayed in the game. He's over at first. Vastine over the head of Donison. This will get in a run. Only play by Smith is to first. So yet again, another <laughs> productive out. Put in the outfield. Squeezes on, and it's down. Nice job by R.J. Austin. Now Hewitt's coming around. Throw to the plate. There is no throw. Wow. This is what they do, Andrew Harris. The pressure, the squeeze is down by Austin, who's fired up like he just hit a walk-off homer to win the game. And how about Hewitt got hit in the face? No problem. Coming around third. Yeah, and that wasn't a safety squeeze. I mean, that was a full suicide squeeze. You had Polk coming down the line. 
Nice job laying it down, and Hewitt didn't even stop coming around third. And he just wheeled all the way around. His picture perfect, right? And, and this is what we talk about a lot in today's game as Diaz draws a two-out walk. Nice block by Heron. Throw down to second is dropped by Chang. They would have had Davis Diaz dart from Heron behind the dish. Kozel makes him pay into right field. The base hit his first knock of the game. Diaz going to come in to score. It's now 7-1. to one. How about the poise from the freshman with two strikes and Camden Kozel, who plays like he's a senior. And he's going to go now as Espinal shoots one out to right. Rasmussen makes the play. Boy, the wind playing tricks on that baseball. Swing and a miss. So the first ever out recorded in the seventh inning for Bryce Cunningham is a strikeout of Rabin. Tom make his second start of the year yesterday. Good to have him back in the lineup. For Illinois State, but another swing and a miss. Cunningham, heat 95. Out to right. Base hit for Heron. Nice piece of hitting there on 0-2. Stayed on that slider. Too much of a restriction. Rip to right. It's a fair ball off the bat of Nichols. His second knock of the game. They are going to wave Heron to the plate. Th throw is cut off by Davis. It's an RBI double for Greg Nichols. His second hit of the game. Big pitch here. 3-2. Called strike three. Brian DeBrower wasn't budging on the last pitch. He budges there. Steve Holm disagrees. So does JT Soklov. Cunningham, 10 punch outs through seven. Swing and a miss. Well, he reset his career high in strikeouts today. Struck out eight against Houston, and you see the K's over there. That is now 11. For Bryce Cunningham. Another elevated fastball, 94. Causes him to be able to get some quick outs. Out to center, tough play. Hewitt diving, and he makes the play. Ninth pitch of the at-bat here. Pitch hitter and Morris. Popped up, mile. Into the Nashville sky. Austin will make the play. So Cunningham, for the first time in his Commodore career, is through eight. How about Calvin Hewitt? A heck of a catch, a nice job playing behind Cunningham. Commodore is coming to bat. Cunningham said, let me finish it. You see it there to Scott Brown, but that is the end of the line. 120 pitch masterpiece from Bryce Cunningham. Career high, 11 strikeouts against them. He's thrown five consecutive shutout innings as Pacella rips one away from the shift into left field to lead off this ninth inning with a single. Called strike three. At the knees, Rabin can't believe it. There's the slider, grounded first. Austin steps on the back, fires over to Vastan, who applies the tag. A 3-6 double play to end the day. The Doors win their eighth straight. They win this series. Nice play by RJ Austin, who plays all over the diamond.